1855, there was a Sunday school teacher in Boston named of Edward Kimball. And Edward Kimball had an 18-year-old boy in his Sunday school class who was not a Christian. And he felt led one day to go downtown to the shoe shop where he worked to talk to him about his soul. And so he was nervous, but he walked in, led him to Christ. His name was Dwight L. Moody. Four years later, Dwight L. Moody was teaching the Bible on the shores of Lake Michigan in Chicago. And he went to England. He led a student to Christ by the name of F.B. Meyer, who became a great Bible expositor. And he came to America, and he led a student to Christ by the name of Wilbur Chapman, who became a great preacher in this nation in the 1880s and 90s. Well, about the same time, there was a mother out in Iowa who had two little boys that she couldn't support, so she gave them to an orphanage. And when one of them was 18 years old, the manager of the Chicago White Stockings saw him play baseball and put him on the major league team. His name was Billy Sunday. And Billy Sunday went to Chicago and through the Pacific Garden Mission and through Wilbur Chapman, he was led to Christ. And he gave up three years of baseball and became a, a minister and was the advance man for Wilbur Chapman. Well, when Wilbur Chapman's health was going down, Billy Sunday became the great evangelist in this country from 1900 to 1925. He came to Charlotte in 1924, and there was a five-year-old boy named Billy Frank Graham who was really impressed. He heard him preach. Well, 10 years later, in 1934, they wanted this uh, great man of God, Billy Sunday, to come back to uh, Charlotte and, but his health was going down, so they got a man who was greatly influenced by Billy Sunday's life and ministry. His name was Mordecai Ham from Kentucky. So he came, but as they were preparing for this uh, meetings here in Charlotte, Billy Graham's father got 10 businessmen together out here in, a, in his pasture on the dairy farm. And those men were from CBMC, and um, they prayed, and Vernon Patterson, who was one of the leaders, prayed a very bold prayer that perhaps God would lead, uh, raise up another Billy Sunday. They didn't know that he was down in the barn raking hay. And in those services, Billy Graham went forward, and uh, he never missed another service. He came home and told his mother, my life has been changed tonight. I'll never be the same. And God began to call him at the age of 19, 18, 19 years of age. And uh, because of those businessmen praying in that pasture and because of the witness of that single Sunday school teacher in 1855 in Boston, we stand here today at the Billy Graham Library.